Today we're talking sacks and the Falcons were able to get four sacks in the last game versus the Chicago Bears. And this particular play it starts over here. This is a what we call a TE stunt. So that means the tackle and the end are going to alternate where they rush at. And the Falcons did a good job of keeping rush contained. It's all about rush discipline in this game, but also the back end back here. These guys working in conjunction with the front end. Now what's gonna happen is Grady's gonna push up here and he's gonna force these two offensive linemen to take him and Lorenzo's gonna loop back around on this TE stunt. Now as the play gets started, here it is. So here it is, Grady taking two. Now you see Lorenzo, he's gonna come all the way back around here and put the pressure on the quarterback. But because Grady's taking two, these guys never even see Lorenzo leaking around and here he is coming right there. Now here's the clean shot he has on the quarterback. The other thing to focus on is where is the quarterback supposed to go with the ball here? Nowhere to go with the ball. Look, all eyes are on the quarterback. All eyes on the quarterback. You can check it down all you want, but it's this third and long. Look where the sticks are, third and long. You want to check it down here so you can tackle them. But a great job of keeping leverage on the outside. And now you get the sack, T.E. stunt, Grady, and Lorenzo getting home. Ultimately, what you like from the Falcons, and it was pretty productive. I'm DJ Shockley. We always thank you guys for joining us here on Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. All right, let's go back to the Carolina game where you got a similar stunt here. I remember talking about the TE stunt up front. This time it's going to happen from the top. Same two characters here are going to run this stunt here where he's going to come around here, and he's also going to get Grady Jarrett pushing up here. But the difference here is it looks a little bit different because you have two linebackers up here in the A gap. They're gonna make it look like they're blitzing, but they're not coming. This affects the offensive line because this is the guy that actually comes off the edge. You get a nickel blitz off the edge that really traps the quarterback, and now you still have eyes on the back end because you're gonna play zone on the back side here. Let's watch this play get started and see the TE stunt here. There it is, both your linebackers are coming out. Here's Grady, he's gonna end up coming here. Lorenzo's gonna come up and he's gonna come back around. But here is where you get home. Your nickel blitz off this side. Your line thinks it comes pressure from here, but it actually comes from the outside. And now you keep containing on a quarterback that has pretty good mobility. Now you see it come here. Now here's the part you like. Here's Lorenzo come from the inside. The push from the inside of the pocket is what's most important. Now you got contain here. You got contain on the outside. Where is this quarterback supposed to go with the football? And once again, the back end working with the front end. Look at all eyes are looking at the quarterback. And again, this is third and long. Look at this, third and long, here are the sticks. They're gonna have this one guy who's gonna be open. That's what you want. Check it down, come rally up, but you do a good job of getting to the quarterback ultimately. Now you get another big time sack from your defensive pressure. All right, here's another instance where Arnold MBK is going to actually get the sack, and he's going to come right through here. The Bears want to set up a screen, but right now you don't know where the Falcons are coming from. Looks like they're coming off this edge. Looks like they're coming off this edge. But at the snap of the ball, he is actually going to bail, and now you're going to get pressure from the inside, which forces the ball out of the hands of Justin Fields, but he has to hold on to it just a second longer. There it is. Here's Bell, and here is – he does a good job here. Let's go back for one quick second. He does a good job of just getting a little bit of hit on him because it makes it look like he's going to stay. And then he ends up blitzing, which is a great design from Dean Pease. Gets a little chuck on him, and then now he's going to come through here. Because he did that, this offensive lineman now takes his eyes inside thinking, okay, this guy's not going to blitz. Now he comes right through, and now look at the clear sight. The lineman haven't even got out on the screen yet, but a nice job of attacking him. You got leverage here. You got leverage here. Really nowhere to go for Justin Fields inside the pocket. Falcons get home. Another big time sack off the disguise and also the pressure and speed of this Falcons defense. Now we're talking about effort. This is getting home with just the front four here. These guys do such a good job of rushing with this one. This happens in a lot of ball games this season. You got to have somebody who's contained. I've talked about it plenty of times. Pressure from the inside really affects a quarterback, and this is what happens here. Brady does a good job of getting upfield, swiping by this guy. Now you got instant pressure from the inside. This is what a quarterback hates, getting pressure from the inside where he cannot step up in the pocket. And then you're going to get on the outside. You're going to get containment, containment on the outside, and then you're going to have a good job of this defensive tackle just wheeling back here and having a good job of coming back. Boom, pressure on you now, but look at this pocket. If you're a quarterback, where do you go with this football? You got containment on the outside. Good job of rushing to an edge here. 
Now you got your other defensive tackle folding back here. And now look at all the eyes you have on the quarterback right now. Casey wants to take off. All these guys are looking here. Great job of showing man, but then drop it off into zone coverage. Now you rally to the football and get home. Getting home with just the front four is so critical in this league. The Falcons have done it with pressure, speed, and also just being pure athletic. All right, once again, the Bears are trying to go a little semi-roll here, and everything's going to go this way, pushing this way. The Falcons do a good job of staying in their rush lanes, which doesn't give the quarterback anywhere to go. As this play gets started, now look at the push, all the push, all the push. But I want you to pay attention to is look at the eyes of all these defensive linemen. Eyes here. He has vision on the quarterback. Good job of just keeping vision here. Got to look at Grady doing a good job of pushing, but also keeping his eyes on the quarterback, not getting outside of their lane. As you continue to push, now you get more pressure. Now you're starting to get the contain you like. Now you get your defense alignment to loop around this way. Now you have contain on the outside. And once again, what you like, eyes on the quarterback. Eyes, everybody's looking here. Then as you continue to play here, look at this pocket collapse. Where is he supposed to go? Nice job of keeping your outside on free. Outside on free. And then you got push on the inside. Nowhere to go for the quarterback. He can't throw it. He can't get away. And they want to throw this screen out here, but nice job of having a guy with eyes here. Look at all these guys up front. Nobody is looking down at a receiver on the ground. They have good eyes on the quarterback. And now you can see exactly the pressure that gets home. And then ultimately another sack by the front four. This defense has done such a great job of using their eyes and vision to get to a quarterback. But discipline in their rush lanes was the key to getting home against the Bears. I'm DJ Shock. Thank you guys for joining me. It's been an outstanding job by the Falcons getting home, getting pressure on the quarterback. I want to thank you guys for joining me. This has been Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Service.